Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and use NumPy with your Visual Studio Code Editor. So let's get started and let's see how can, we can do it. So go to the folder where you want to create your NumPy project. So just open it in your folder explorer. Let's say I want to create my NumPy project here. So I can right click here and then click on show more options and click on open with code which is going to open this folder in visual studio code editor you can see python apps now here you can create your uh, numpy app for example i'm going to name my file as uh, num underscore test dot py file okay and it has created my uh, python script here I'm going to add a very simple NumPy code and save it. Now in order to uh, install NumPy in your Visual Studio Code environment, you can just click on uh, terminal and then open a new terminal here. And once the terminal is open, you can choose between PowerShell or command prompt here. So let me choose the command prompt option from here. Okay. So you can see the command prompt is open. So you can switch between terminals from uh, this terminal window. So I'm in the command prompt uh, window. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a virtual environment for my project. So to create a virtual environment, I can just write Python space hyphen M and then VN v e n v and the name of your environment i can uh, name my environment as my n or something else the name depends on you so you can give any name to your environment just press enter here which is going to create this my n uh, folder okay and you can see it says we noticed a new environment has been cre created do you want to select it for the workspace folder just click on yes here and once you click on yes uh, visual studio code is going to recognize your virtual environment and then uh, it's going to show you some options right now when you go inside this virtual env folder you can see few scripts here and there will be a script called uh, activate so we want to uh, use this uh, activate file in order to activate our virtual environment so in order to do that you just need to write this command so just write whatever is the name of your virtual env folder in my case it's named my env and then give forward slash this is a forward slash and not a backslash right then write scripts forward slash activate you can also write forward slash activate dot bat file because you can see under script you have both these files activate and activate dot bat let's run this uh, with without dot bat i'm going to press enter and your environment has been activated and how you know that your environment is activated you will be able to see this uh, my n under these parentheses before this command right so once you see your environment before uh, this folder path that means your environment has been activated right now in this environment you can just uh, install any package and this will be applicable only for your environment for this project okay so here you can just type pip install numpy and then press enter which is going to start installing numpy package in your virtual environment for your project so you can see it says installing collected package and once a numpy is installed you can see this message which says successfully installed numpy and the version of numpy you might see some warnings here you can see you are using pip this version and the newest version is this one 
So just try running this command. You can do that. There is no harm in do, doing this. So if you want, you can uh, run this command. So you just need to run this command in order to upgrade uh, your uh, pip uh, package manager. So you can just write pip install then upgrade before that you just need to write hyphen hyphen upgrade pip okay and then press enter and, and it's going to upgrade the pip okay so let me just uh, run this uh, numpy script we have created our virtual environment we have installed numpy package so the only thing which remains is the running of this file so you can uh, run this uh, file by just uh, using the python command so just write python and then the name of the file which is num underscore test dot py and then press enter and it will show you this result if it shows the result of your code that means numpy is uh, installed in your visual studio code with virtual environment and it's running fine right you can also install the extension which is called code runner so just click on extensions and then search for code runner which is a very popular extension for running various kind of codes so just click on install option here i have already installed this extension that's why it shows me uninstall but in your case you will see install option so just click on install and it, you will see disable or uninstall option once that is installed you will be able to see this uh, run button on top right corner so the code runner uh, adds this button on type top right corner so just click on run button and it's going to run your code now when you run your python script with this code runner you can see this error which says no module uh, named numpy is found to solve this problem you can uh, just uh, add this line at the top of uh, your code so let me show you uh, this line which you can add at the top so just write hash and then this bang and then go inside your virtual end folder then go inside your script folder and then click on python.exe file right click and copy the path so just copy the path here and then just paste it after this hash bang okay so hash bang and then space and the path of your python exe in your virtual env save your code and run this code once again and this time your code will run okay so this is how you can install uh, numpy on visual studio code to work with numpy inside your visual studio code i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video